What's up, everybody? Annoyed here. It's been a little bit over a week since I got in my package from 1791 EDC and about two, three-ish weeks since I got in the real man leather. And I wanted to do a quick update on my feelings on carrying the 1791 as compared to the real man leather one. So I'll start off with just telling you I, I wore this every day for the past just over a week as well as I wore the real man leather one every day for about a week. I've done various jobs, um, maintenance jobs, construction jobs where it has come in great handy having all my tools right at my side. Um, first and foremost, just the ability to snap this off and on of my belt whenever I, whenever I'm ready to take it off has been wonderful. This one, how it attaches here and here, how it loops through those, it does provide a secure fit. I can definitely say that, but it really strains on these. Now I did only wear it for a week. I really could imagine over time that providing a lot of wear on this. This is just so much thinner. Um, it's, it's very low profile. That's good. And I imagine if you were only going to use it every once in a while, it could definitely provide for you what you needed. The week I wore it, I didn't have any complaints, but it was the very first pouch I had ever wore. It, it was nice. It carried my gear, kept them out of my pockets. It broke in really quickly. I could get everything that I needed in and out of these. But in comparison to carrying this bad boy for a week, I'll go ahead and unload it. I sent my Olight Arkfeld in for a replacement. Um, I tried to remove the clip from the back because it had bent out and I used the T6 Torx driver and the screws just immediately stripped. So Olight's sending me in a new one. So that's cool, but I don't have it in, so I, I had my other knife in there for now. Um, just the amount of things that I can carry on this as compared to this. One, you only have the one key ring holder, and having these on both sides really unburdens the one side from just having a brick of things and having the two things that I don't really need up front and present in the back, I can actually even slip this lighter and my tack and tweeds into my back pocket from how it sits on my belt. Um, so they're not even visible and they're just connected here so I can pull them in and out. I've got a little connector here, take this off, put it on, it's really easy to reach. So having the two key rings has been, I mean, night and day as compared to, and I wouldn't be carrying near as much. It, had it been for just having this one, I probably would have downsized to just my key fob and probably the tack and tweez and the whistle. So I just had those three things. Um, but having them separate really, really makes a big difference. Um, there's, there's some scratching on it. Um, I, I've used it, like I have really used it. It's worn in um, so great. Things slip in and out with great ease at this point. It's not an issue. Like at first they were pretty tight and it's not to where, even if I don't put the clip on there, it's not loose to where it's gonna fall out if I don't use the clip. Uh, see the clips, it's so used to not having the clip. There we go. Um, it will still stay in there strong, but it's not like really hard or strenuous for me to get it in and out. Um, on top of just the thickness of the leather, the build quality in all, this like this is going to last me so much longer than this will. I can't say how long for sure this one would last but it's not gonna last near as long as this one is. Just strictly based on build quality, 
the thickness of the leather, the double stitching, everything that's going on on here. You've got nice thick stitching on here as compared to the really thin stitching on this bad boy. If you can see that there. Um, so it's not a bad, the real man leather is not a bad one. The price difference, this being double the price of this, I mean, this is worth much more than double the price of this. This is, it's just, it's lower quality. That's all there is to it. And whenever it comes down to it, I mean, just look at them. One of them is really nice looking and it, it it's great. I, I love putting it on. I love carrying it. I love showing it off. It's, you can just tell by the looks of it. I, I would much rather be wearing this. It looks better um, than this. Overall, I am so, so happy with this real man leather pouch. I, I'm not gonna lie, I am considering, uh, I have a few more Olight products coming in, um, breaking this one in. I, I haven't decided whether I want to send it off to somebody, Re really didn't get a lot of engagement in the comments. I have people saying that they, they wanted me to send it to them. Um, so I have some more products in, coming in, and this bigger pouch on this one here, let me move this light to where you can see this better. Yeah, this bigger pouch on this one here may come in handy. Um, so I, I may wear this one for just over a week and see if I like it better. But really, there there's not much of a difference. I mean, this middle pocket here is the biggest difference. And I, I just have my small pin, my... Oh, I got the new titanium clip in for my bastion. Um, but it, it fits in this small pocket so perfectly. Slides in and out easily with or without the clip. But if I have a smaller flashlight coming in um, that I could actually put, put in here, that, that may be end up what I carry um, on this one. I've even, there's been days whenever I was going to the drop site that I was considering taking my multi-tool where I thought, well, you know what? Maybe I'll just take this one, throw my multi-tool in this pocket, my Arkfeld in this pocket, and my knife in this one, and wear both of them. Um, but I didn't do that. I've just kind of sat this one to the side. Overall, I would definitely say save up a little bit extra money. Go with the more premium product. It's going to last you longer, it's going to look better, and it's going to provide you much more functionality. Once again, I want to send out a big thank you to 1791 EDC for hooking me up with all of these awesome products. I'll probably do a review on a couple of the other things they've sent me, uh, a more in-depth review because I have been using the pocket organizer as well that they sent me for my uh, multi-tool and that's been a blessing to have as well uh, thanks for stopping by if you have any questions about these products let me know I'll leave a link to this product down below really appreciate all you guys like subscribe and I'll see you in the next video I definitely have some more unboxing and first impressions on the way annoyed out